Here is the resonant rings device that we're offering for sale. Paul Arcelli and Clifford Wagner. This was originally from the Franklin Institute and it, it's an exploratory cookbook device. There's a frequency generator and that's actually a speaker that these rings are connected to. And the visitors have a, a speed control and you can get each individual ring to vibrate. There's the lowest one. And as we speed it up, it's actually interesting that one has a sideways frequency as well. That resonant frequency for that. You can sometimes get both the first and the fourth one going. There's the third one going. And the last one, there it is. This device has some very nice features. Some good graphics. And inside, I'm going to walk, we have an amplifier. That, there's a fan right there, and that's actually a filter box that the filter is easily uh, changed. Because, you know, your museum floors are always dusty. That's actually the frequency generator in that box. And the... Uh, I don't know if you can see it in this low light level, but that's actually an O-ring belt that, that uh, connects the, uh, the visitor control, so um, it acts as a natural clutch, which is always nice. And then there are fine tuners. The, the two other pots on the top, potentiometers, uh, are adjustments that can be made to the frequency generator. So that is our device. We refinished the cabinet, and it's ready to... Uh, give your visitors a good time and to teach them about things vibrating there's so many examples of it whether it's the the unbalanced tire on your car that uh, can be dangerous if it hits the resonant frequency of your suspension or to musical instruments and so. and you know what I mean it, this one does have a it's really fun to try, you know, what, what's the most amount of vibration that you can get? And, it, you know, it's, it's never, uh, it's never all the rings. That's really the point of this.